Hey, what's going on, guys? So last week, Blender 3.0 came out as an alpha, but unfortunately, I was having issues with the Cycle X branch when I was trying it. However, yesterday, they released a new version of the Alpha 3.0 Cycles X branch. So that's what we're going to be looking at to see if we can compare the new Cycles X to the current Cycles X just to see how much faster it really is when using the RTX 3090 Founders Edition. So if you want to try this out, go ahead and go to the Blender page and go to the download page right here. Scroll all the way down, Experimental. And you're not going to download this one because this uses the same exact um, cycles, not the Cycles 10. So you want to go to Experimental Branches, scroll down, and you're going to see Cycle X Branch right here, updated yesterday. So download that. And additionally, I downloaded a sample project, which is this uh, Sinoceroporacarus right here by Joanna Kobierska. Really nice nature scene. It looks really good, really photorealistic. So that's what I'm going to be using. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up Blender 2.92, which is the current stable version. Okay, so we have the project here and just a couple of disclaimers. I tried doing 1000 samples, 500, 250 and Blender 2.92 kept crashing because I actually turned it all the way up to DCI 4K. So I'm going to try 200 samples now to see if this will render. Uh, the 2.92 official branch is just crashing my RTX 3090 uh, Intel 10900K as well. So let's go ahead and change this to 200. And we have denoising as optics and everything else should be good. And I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to press F12 to go ahead and render this from the beginning. Now, just so you know, the time that's going to take here is going to be including the warm-up time or the kernel time, whatever you want to call that. So let's go ahead and do that. So F12, and I'll be right back. There you go, 7 minutes and 27. I guess it wasn't done. 7 minutes and 27, 41. And let's go save this. And we're going to name this Cycle X. Compression is 0, RGBA. And then save the image. That looks good as well. And then what I'm going to do is open up After Effects so we can take a look at these up close. So we have the Cycles. We have the Olds. We will drop the Old one first. And I'm going to take a look right here because there's a lot of detail right here. Pretty zoomed in. Let me close this off. So we have the old one, and I'm going to drop in the cycles on top of that. Whoa. Right away, you see. The eyes change. So I'm going to turn off. This is the old cycles. And this is the new cycles. And really, all we changed was the software. It's the same scene, same lighting. That's crazy, because now you actually see this color here. In the old cycles, it's there, but you really can't determine what it is. But you can actually see the line on the eyes as well. Wow. I didn't expect that to be that drastic. So that's the new cycles, old cycles. Super cool. So it looks like it's improving the image as well. Wow. All right. Super cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys later. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new meta-human characters, but don't know how to do it. Well, I got the video. 
just for you.